Labour Party has been called out for lying after the deputy party leader has been found to be at an event during lockdown which she said she was not at. Remember the days where parliamentary scandals were much more interesting, including prostitutes and Russian spies, and now they include cake and people gathering at places? Personally, I don't care what a politician does in their spare time. I care about how they serve the country. I care about the rules they impose. Personally, to me, it wouldn't matter if Boris Johnson, in his spare time, decides to run around naked at number 10, chanting, God save the Queen. I just care if he gets the job done. Because the Labour Party and the general media have been so pressed on getting Boris Johnson done over parliament, Party gate. I think it's only fair that we do the same with Labour. So a few months ago, the Labour Party leader Keir Starmer was spotted at a beer event during lockdown, on which he claims it was a work event where his staff got takeaway after. To me, there's a difference between getting takeaway and having a beer. It seemed like a social event from the video. This was cleared by the police in February. However, a Tory MP is asking for a review. In Starmer's words, we didn't break any rules. We were working in the office and we stopped for a takeaway. We did nothing wrong. Starmer was also asked about this on LBC. Very. I think especially with Starmer's case that he's grilled Boris so much on Partygate that he's used the stories of families not being able to see their loved ones during the lockdown. That he's weaponized the nation's anecdotes during the lockdown, the nation's suffering during the lockdown. And when he gets turned on him, he's so dismissive, he's like, we did nothing wrong. When I think by his logic, he has done something wrong. He was gathering in a social event, he had an opportunity that not many people in the country had. Many people, most of the nation, had to sit at home, be alone, be idle isolated. This led to mental health increases, whereas Starmer could just gather with friends, have a beer. And I just don't think that's fair, especially after he's weaponized it. He said Boris Johnson enforced the rules, so frankly I don't think the two are comparable. But let's be clear, if Labour were in charge, they'd have the lockdown going on for longer. As leader of the opposition, you still have power, you still have influence. Meanwhile, he was laughing and drinking with his friends. It's hypocrisy. And if we're going to hold the Tories to this standard, we better hold Labour to the same standard too. Also, it's quite ironic how much the left are trusting the police now it's in their favour. I thought it's all defund the police, abolish the police, the police can't be trusted. But no, once they say something that you like, it's okay, I guess. And now it's been discovered that Angela Rayner, deputy leader of the Labour Party, was at that event, after previously denying that she was there. And now they're calling it a good faith mistake. A good faith mistake is forgetting not to put the washing out, not claiming not to be at a party which you were actually at. How could you forget that? And if it was the Tory party, do you think they would allow it just to be known as a good faith mistake? To me, it just seems like they're hiding something, they're being dishonest. I wouldn't care if they weren't advocating for these rules, if they weren't being hypocritical, if they weren't weaponizing people's sadness, if they weren't calling out the Tories for doing the exact same thing. Do they think the British public is stupid? 